Hello everybody and welcome to part 2 of my banjo 2 walkthrough and here we are about to start some Mayhem Temple and hopefully not uh, make a fool of myself as I do in most of my walkthroughs. This is a warp point. Warp pad I should say. Okay, so obviously banjo... Oh, well, I need to remember that I'm not playing Majora's Mask. So really on, these guys right here will attack you. They're some sort of statue that uh, likes mindless violence for no apparent reason. Okay, I need to remember what everything is. Okay, so that is a Jinjo. And we will save his life now. Is that a Jinjo? Yes, it is a Jinjo. That is one of the orange ones, right? Is that orange? I'm off the home. Is that orange? Brown? Yep, okay. Okay, as you've seen in the cutscene there, there is a lot of different colored Jinjos. Not just the purple, like, it's like a purple, magenta type colored that we've seen in the, in the original Banjo-Kazooie. So there you go. The notes look different than in Banjo-Kazooie, luckily. They're a little bit, uh, I'm not even sure what they really call them. I'm gonna get it. Oh no, yeah, I did get it. So these right here are new as well. These will mess you up. They are... Okay. Stop the energy bar as close as possible. Well. Okay, so these are really cool. Um, if you don't do it as fast as possible, then it will. Uh, okay, we, we don't need to talk to him yet. It will obviously go in whatever is is highlighted. I love getting those because of how obviously if you have like two honeycombs. And obviously, it would help out to get all of yours instead instead of just three. Okay, so luckily, we can find him over here. This is where he will actually, um, you know, tell him, tell us who he is and all that sort. And I thought it was earlier, but it's actually not. So hit B next to him, and he will pop up. I like how calm he is about his brother's death. It's like he's trying to calm down Banjo. Oh god! I forgot how accurate these things are too. 
Okay, so obviously this is what it shows. I really hate this because you have to hold the control stick, you know, there. And these guys right here, they will... All it does is really just um, deactivate him for a little bit. Obviously you can hear the Jinjo, it's kind of a pain to hear that all throughout the cutscene, I think it was. Okay, so this round, this time around, it's a lot easier to get 100 notes, and that's what I was referring to, not, not the look of them, but actually the, uh, you know, actually the, the gathering of them. Okay, so I hate how slow they talk, even though I could probably speed it up, but I would rather not. Okay, remember if there's something behind here. Maybe I'm crazy. Yeah, I'm crazy. So in this one, it's no, there's no bend or there's no mumbo tokens. There is these little creatures that you have to gather. Luckily, they're, you know, it's just the two or whatever you need. Okay, so there's the the other Jinjo. I believe that's a Jinjo. Let me see if this is a Jinjo or not. It is. Okay. So there's only two orange ones. Huh. Okay, so my goal is to... Oh my god, there's a lot of bees right there. Or what are they? Oh, got him! You dead! Uh, but my... Anyways, my goal is to get as much done as I can. I'm just gonna start spamming, I guess. Okay. I guess it could be this instead. This is not improving my accuracy much. Oh, here we go. He flew like a... Where do you... Where's the other one? I think she gives you a, a jiggy whenever you kill them all, if I'm correct anyways. Where'd the other one go? Is he dead? Did I kill him? And I don't realize it? Screw it. He's dead. What up, cow? Oh, it's a fly. Okay, so apparently I didn't kill them all, but I thought I did. Okay, so this right here, obviously, we can't grab onto it. And that was a big problem with Banjo-Kazooie as well. Yeah, there we go. Of course, maize is actually corn. It's like some sort of corn, I'm not even sure really. Alright, so this is our first Jiggy of this level, and probably the easiest one, in my opinion, anyways. I forgot all the other ones, and there, obviously, you know, there's a slowdown right here. This is probably the biggest issue with this, with this game, in my opinion. And this right here, this is actually a, a treble clap yet, they're worth a mighty 20 notes. Okay, so this right here. Let me see real fast. Do I have all the... Wait, here we go. Wait, what? Oh, totals, I guess. Is that what I need? Okay, so obviously I have 100 notes. The notes, like I said before, they're a lot easier to get in this game than in Banjo-Kazooie. Uh, because they are worth more. Okay, so as you can tell, there is three moves we can learn. Uh, I'm gonna learn this one next. Hope well, actually, yeah, I have plenty of notes. So we're cool. Dismissed. And that is a move we can't learn, we, we can't use it out here, but we can actually use it uh, very soon inside of the temple, like you said. Okay, I'm trying to figure out where that move is over here, but I, it might be up there in the middle? Is that where it is? Uh, I guess not. Uh, there's a move, obviously you can tell there's the uh, little climbing areas right here. There's actually a move set we can learn. Maybe it's over somewhere else. I'm not sure where it's at, but uh, I do know that uh, like the honeycomb that's over there that we're where, uh, I'm not even sure what her name was. I wasn't really paying attention, but her but that over there is actually a 
easy spot to gather, or it's actually good, an easy spot to uh, to get up to. I already know this stuff. I'm a professional. And one thing that I never didn't mention is the fact that his role is longer, and that is obviously helpful. Can I? Oh no! Ouch! And you got some ammo, anyways. Listen here, you damn statue. We don't want none of your shenanigans. Stop hitting me. I don't even owe you any money. Okay, I'm about to mess you up right now. Once I get my goddamn name. Shazam! I hate how it's only a... It only lasts for like a little bit of time. Can you aim? Like a Please? Just hit his... Just hit one eye. I would be... Spam. Is that what I do? I think it is, because I the jewels and all that. Well, I can just stand right here. No big deal. Hopefully. Uh, is that what I do? Come here. Okay, I'm not going to worry about that right now. I'm going to worry about something else. Because <laughs> I don't know what to do. Okay, so Mumbo we can't do anything with yet, I think. Stop trying to murder me. Okay, I do know that this right here is, uh... This is easy. This, all we have to do is just shoot an egg into it. So let me do that first. Okay. Oh, damn. Damn, Bobby. Okay, there's one. I think there's no time limit, so you can just, you know, just do as fast as possible if you want. Or you can just take your time like I am and... Mm, try to do as much as you can. I'm not even sure what this does. I think this raises it or lowers it. I can't remember. Oh no, it just opens up this level right here. Cool, okay, so um, I believe um, if we go up there, we can go up onto the, onto the flying pad, and that's what it's called. I called it a red feather pad, which doesn't make sense because it's not really a, that I guess? I'm not sure what to call it. Okay, so I do know that there's some items on the, on right here, like right here is what? My foot is already falling asleep. Oh, it's a jiggy up here too. Maybe this is what I was thinking of. Right? Oh no, stop. Um, guess it's somewhere, right? Where is it at? Come here, pilgrim. Okay, maybe it's whenever I defeat this temple, maybe? Oh, wait, maybe it's just the cleft I was thinking of. Maybe that's just all that's behind there. Oh, wait, here we go. I remember now. And I'm thinking of something else now. I, I tend to do that. I think about something and I don't say it. So you're probably wondering, like, what are you talking about? What's this stupid ass talking about? The first... Yeah, this is, uh... I'm not even sure what it's called. What are you? Uh, it's a Globo. Okay. So, per level, there is two Globos. And this is the first one. Obviously, pretty easy to find. We can talk to Mumbo. I like how he he's, like, all serious in the beginning. And, like, out of nowhere, he's just right in here sleeping. I think the second one is behind him. There's something behind him, I think. Maybe I'm crazy. I do indeed. He's got to tighten his pants up. His underwear. First me to see Mighty Shaman Zapstick. Zapstick. Okay, so... Oh, what? That actually hurt me? That sucked. Okay, so the, obviously 
this wasn't in Banjo Kazooie. Banjo Kazooie, all he did was turn you to a, you know, like a turtle or was it a turtle? Uh, no, it was an alligator. That's right. It was an alligator you could turn into. Um, the unfortunate thing is, he's not very helpful in terms of attacking. His zap, it needs. It's like a stun, a stun gun, in in a sense. It's like a lightning stick or something. I'll show it off real fast. That way I can just uh, amaze the wonders. I guess if that makes sense. Come here, bitch. Yes, you. Oh, got messed up. Did I kill them? Come here. Come here, lion. Okay, so it just takes two attacks or something. Oh, wait. I think it's over there. Where's it at? Yeah, it's way up there. I need to fly to get it, I think. Okay, so what he can do is he can hit this mumbo pad, and I just skip past it. Because it doesn't really tell me anything that I don't know already. Even though, obviously, you probably don't know if you haven't watched this walkthrough. Or played this game, I mean. So he lets this huge statue come to life, and we had, we can murder these statues over there now. And open up that door over there with his mighty kick. Okay, so I'm gonna try to move his bus as fast as possible now. Gordon Goliath. To control me again, hit B, I think. Oh, wicked, never mind. Or piss me. Okay, so our first goal is to open this up over here. We're going to kill this guy because we're invincible anyways. Or no, you, yep, never mind. You did. Goodbye. We can't get any of those over there, so let's... So we open up that. I'm not going to go in there yet. I'm going to go into there uh, the next, next time I can because we need to be him and go after something else. I think this over here, I think we only open a, a little bit of it. And I think Banjo goes in there instead, instead of him. Hey, do I need to murder you? Yes, I do. Your nose is huge, by the way. Okay, so there is that opening right there. Uh, we need to come back over here. I'm gonna go ahead and just go onto this pad again and and re re up my time. Okay, so let's do this one more time and can I, can I skip past this? No, I can't. Okay. So let's go on and over here and go inside this next part of the level. I need to remember where the the next, uh, it might be over here actually, the next learning thing. Okay, so we come over here, there's a little, okay, it's right here actually, never mind. Jade snake something or other. We come over here, we need to go into the mud. Or quicksand or whatever this is. We can kill this enemy right here if you want. That is a jiggy, obviously. Uh, we can come over here if we want, but I'm not going to do that. Because I don't think we need it any more past this. If I'm correct, anyways. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead. Can I hit B? His jump is terrible. Like, what do you, why, why even have a jump button if we need. Like, look, what's he going to jump over? Nothing. There's nothing he can jump over. Let's see if he can even jump over here. Let's see it. Oh. It's faster coming up here, though. I'm not even sure why I'm complaining about that. It's not even really a big problem. I think this is his only use in this first level. I think everything else we can do by ourselves. Or have to do by ourselves, actually. Plus, he doesn't have as much health as Banjo anyways. I'm gonna joke you. Oh god. Okay, so we uh we have a lot of things we can do. I'm going to grab the last move for this level real fast and then I will uh I'll get that honeycomb up there and then I will uh 
do a few more things and I'm gonna probably end the video right there. I'm gonna try and do 40 minutes per video. Get a decent amount done and then uh and uh I don't just go from there I guess. My goal is to get this done as fast as possible because I remember my my previous game time was like 34 hours almost. It was ridiculous amount of time. Okay, so let's go, let's go ahead and just do this real fast. I think there's a total of four or five more points in this level. There's a decent amount of them. Okay, we come over here. Keep jumping. Okay, we can come over here, kill this guy. Shows I am. We need health anyways. Alright, so let's learn our last move of this level. Oh yeah, forget about it. Yeah, he can uh, revive you, kind of, in a sense. Dismissed. Okay, so obviously we can just jump like this, and we need to grab on instead of falling over like we did before. Oh wait, the white ones are uh, completely just one person. His brothers and all are gone, apparently. And as you can tell, the gray ones are destroyed for some reason. I'm not even sure what happened to them. And now we can go up there. I think that's actually just a, another entrance way to the to the Mayhem Temple level and all that. I thought I'd never be on my. Oh, so we just get jiggies from him? Oh, is he? He looks more pink. That's so weird. Okay, so that just becomes a jiggy. This my foot is hurting right now. Oh wait, here's a warp point right here. Sorry, my dude. I'm about to destroy you real fast. Or maybe not. What are you doing? Okay, so I'm going... Oh, no! Kazooie, stop. Uh... Yes, I'll go to Mumbo's skull real fast, and I'll get that uh, honeycomb. I believe in this game, it's a little bit different of how we get more honeycombs. Um, like, for instance, obviously in Banjo Kazooie, if you get like eight honeycombs or something of that sort, you gain level or you gain another health. In this game, it takes a little bit less per. Uh, I think the first one's like, what was I stuck with there? I think the first one's like uh, two or three, and then they go from there. But we won't reach that until a little bit later on, unfortunately. Slow down. Why is it always right here? That doesn't make sense. Plus it's, oh wait, I know where it is now. The flying pad is over there by the, yeah, it's by the temp, not this temple, but the other one over here. It's a, I think it's at the top of it, if I'm correct. No, wait, no, no it's not because, uh, because I remember we had to fly up there to get that little page over there. Plus the entrance over there is uh, another jiggy, I think. So I'm going to... Uh, I will wait on this. I will do something else. Garbage ass aim. Is that out here? I will go to... Uh, Wiggum... Wiggum... Something, what was her name again? I don't know. We will not... Uh, wait. Where am I at? Which one was I at? I think it was this one right here that I need to go... Oh. Yeah, here we go. Here's just another different location we can go to. Uh, if I'm correct, actually, I think the other Globos were about 110. So instead of turning into another creature that is... this That's her job now. And let's go ahead and become a new... The, you know, the creature or whatever. We can go into the... We can do a few things real fast with the creature. Big keep rocking. Oh, her name is Humba Wumba. 
<laughs> I sure do. I like to know what happens to it. Like, what? Like, does it just die? What happens to it? Okay, let me jump in here real fast. Oh, wait, what is it? What's it doing? It just goes anywhere? Wait, what? Stony. Smooth crispy for the... Okay, so like I sort of said before, we can... Uh, we can do a few things with the stony power-up. I believe we come over here, and of course, we uh, the little creatures that are in certain parts of the level, I think we can talk to them. I think they just give us little hints or something. Let me see. What you doing? Under the strong rocks, you will find many surprises. Okay, we don't know what that is. Thanks for the pep talk. I enjoyed it. Is that it? We're going. I think over here is our first use of the Sony, if I'm correct. Wait, no, I know, I know it. Yeah, it's right over here. I'm starting to remember this level more and more, and you are one douchebag. Please don't. That barely missed. Oh wait, what? Oh wait, no, this there is another code chamber. That's right. What is this? This isn't any use to you as you haven't. Oh, okay, so his cheats are actually still entered here, apparently. I didn't know that. Okay, I don't want to go in here anymore. So apparently only the stony can come in here? Is that what is that what this is telling me now? I think so. What? What? What happened? What? I'm confused. What just happened? What am I stuck? Is it, does it, calm down, Banjo. Oh, that's why. Okay. Okay, so apparently, I don't think we can actually use the power-ups with, with him. Or something. Do we have to blow this up? I think, yeah, yeah, that's right. We have to kick it with the big guy, I think. So we do actually have to come over here real fast with him. So I will do that very soon as well. I didn't know that there was a uh, another use for him, so I do apologize for my shrubness. Stop shooting me. What, like, what does he have against me? What did I do to you? Is that a rubber bank? And your trust funds are just gone now? Okay, so real fast, I will cut me to the statue and I will be back, guys. Alright guys, so we discovered there, we are now the huge uh, Goliath guy again. I will, might as well just go in and just uh, show myself, do this real fast. Um, but after I do this, I'm going to go ahead and end the video. I think this is a really good stopping point uh, for part two. I got to remember where I... Wait, can I not go down there? Oh wait, well, I, I just can just go this way anyway, so there's no big deal. No big problems. Okay, so I think I am right though. I mean, obviously this right here is not, you know, it's gonna, it's not gonna be anything of use right now, but I, I like to just do this and get it over with. And boom right there, obviously. Um, and I think that is about it for this level actually. And there's some, uh, something over there. I'm trying to remember what else I need to get rid of, but I think that's it. So thanks for watching guys and like and subscribe if you liked some more Banjo Kazooie or anything else that me and Lefum are doing. What is that? What the hell? Was that a Venus flytrap? Okay, so we're gonna switch back very soon. But anyways, like I said before, thanks for watching and obviously magic magic run out.
But stay tuned for some more Banjo Kazooie. Uh, this is obviously just a part one of Mayhem Temple. It's probably going to be a few parts of this uh, of this level. And like I said before, uh, stay tuned for some more, and I'll see you guys then.